Kanab, which is a tiny little town, um, but it's a good kind of like place for you to stay if you're going to the Grand Canyon or Bryce Canyon or Zion. Well, Zion's kind of far away. Uh, you would stay in St. George to go to Zion. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, it's kind of like a place where people stay. <laughs> um, not a lot here, but I will be going on to Page, which is about an hour away um, from here or so, and then staying in Page tonight and then backtracking to do the wave in the morning. Um, so right now I'm going to go to the visitor center and just go check in. I missed the um, 8.30 a.m. obviously, so in Vegas, but 8.30 a.m. Uh, orientation. So hopefully they can answer my questions. I've been to Kanab before a couple times. It is quite pretty. The gas is cheaper. And between the drive from Vegas to Kanab, going to Pipe Springs, I've crossed into Utah four times and into Arizona three times and was in Nevada this morning. So that's three states and it's only like 1.30 in the afternoon. And it is quite commercialized. You've got Pizza Hut, you've got, um, I don't know, I've been to that Mexican restaurant. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Anyway, and there's a supermarket over here. So I'm not gonna go to the supermarket here. I'll go to the supermarket when I get to uh, Paige. It's funny being back in like camper van world because in Houston, I barely see, well, I hardly see anybody that has a, has a rig and out here it's everybody. Okay, let's go in. I've got my permit and map and everything. This is what they send you. So I'll go through that in the morning on the other episode where I actually go to the wave. This one, I'm just gonna go in and talk to them. Maybe use the restroom for the 19th time and I'm gonna go to 7-Eleven, get gas and then head on to Page where I'm just gonna find a Starbucks. I gotta do some work today as well. Okay, cool. So, when you're coming along the highway, you're mm -hmm. going to come to that road sign, and there's yellow blinking lights. Okay. You're driving down a hard packed dirt road for eight miles to that parking lot. Okay. And the good news is, is this road is dry and that it was just recently regraded. So it's not washboardy? It's going to be, wa it's going to be a little bumpy. Okay. It's go slow, but there's no ruts or bad oh, stuff good. Okay. that's going to be, yeah. So we're referring to it almost as being Prius worthy. <laughs> Prius worthy. Yeah. And I was like the Nissan Altima. It's yeah. like, if you're driving a Nissan Altima out here, you should not be out here. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what'll happen is you're going to start hiking in this wash and then you'll see a sign that turns you off and heads you to the way oh cool okay so and and there's there's been a herd of bighorn sheep running around out okay. there well i live in texas we got the longhorns oh, okay. i'm good with sheep i mean I, okay. and sheep and cows and anything that has like massive yeah, we're, I'm so. bison we have the bison herd near right. amarillo so yeah i haven't been chased by one yet so no these are these are pretty sedate the, okay. you know, they'll, they'll, but they're kind of wonderful to see you know type of thing um the one little hiking tip that i'll, that I'll give you it's a combination of sand with some slick rock okay and and it, the whole course is not bad but it's a lot of up and kind of up and down wavy and the more you can as you go along stay high yeah it flattens that out okay so don't necessarily go in a straight line you know just do try to stay as high as you can and it'll, it'll, it'll flatten it and what time out. can i get there anytime tomorrow well, you you're pass is good for 24 hours okay. you can literally get in there at 1201 tonight okay or, you know in the morning and and stay there till 1159 okay. Okay. so you've got the entire 24 hours basically now the 65 permits now there are day permits like in the geo, geo like fence and all this is it 65 total or is it that 65 like me and then a bunch of others no uh, it's it's a total of 64, 64 actually okay. so you so you just won the day Daily lot, yeah. right? So only 12 of those permits are, are, are exist. So it's 12 of the 48. Wait, I'm one of 12 people that got this? Yes. What? Out of 400 cool. plus people that apply. Oh, that's cool. So yeah, you, you're really a lucky dude. So. Oh, I'm happy. I never win anything. <laughs> I mean, it's technically I paid for it, so yeah. I didn't really win it. But. So the, the other little tip that I have for you is when you get to right before the entrance to the wave, there's a, there's a slip rock, um, a little bit of a cliff. I, okay. I don't want to make it sound overly dramatic, but what you'll see in the sand is a bunch of footprints and this like sand slide going up the center. Okay. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> that's that's the worst, and that's what people do because they don't know any better. All right. Off to the left of that is a bunch of slick rock. Do that portion and just do zigzags up. It's a lot easier on you. It's a lot safer. 
and okay. I'm trying to climb up that sand strip. All right, that's awesome. I got a bunch of pamphlets and I got a magnet for toadstools and I'm gonna go across the street to the um, Canab Tour Company to see if they have any other souvenirs and things. And I need to get some lunch. <laughs> so, and then I'm gonna head about uh, maybe an hour or so out to uh, Page and park up there. Then I need to start looking for BLM around this area because I'll be here for the next like two days, I think. Um, so once I do the wave, and the wave is an hour from here and it's also an hour from Page. So it doesn't really matter which town you stay in. Probably easier to stay in Page because I do have BLM out there, which I'll show you. And I don't have any hidden secrets. My only rule is if I show you the hidden gems, the secret places, don't take it when I'm there. <laughs> like still let me be there when you're there. So there's that old couple over there. That's funny. They're like camped out in their RV. Yeah, I don't know if there's BLM out here. Might as well, well, either way, it's going to be an hour to get out there. So I do need to go to Page because there's no Starbucks out here and I do need Wi-Fi and I need a proper grocery store. Um, but I will fill up on gas across the street. I'll go to the Canab tour company. I'll go to 7-Eleven and then I'll head out another hour to Page. But yay, the guy, when I walked in, he looked down and he, he goes, wow, a lottery ticket winner. Only 12 people get these like pre-tickets and the rest are day entry the other 40 64 minus 12 so the other 42 they don't get uh they, you know they're the geo like you have to be in the geo uh locations like the uh, vicinity of of the wave in order to get them like your phone has to be you know location tracking what am i trying to say you have to be near the wave in order to get the daily lottery the night before and so or the day of i think i don't know so yeah, so only 12 of us get the permit out of 400 that apply every single day. Here's the Canab Tour Company. So I guess this is where you can get a tour for the wave, which you only need if you can't get down the road. So you can have a four by four. There's also Indian cuisine. Oh, it's interesting. Um, and then uh, Sunny Creek Coffee. I think the, oh, it's in here. Okay, it's not open yet. Oh, wow, okay. There's coffee. I should have come in here. I just got a um, gas station chai. There's Canab, that's cute. That's very, actually, that's exactly the same as the uh, Zion t-shirt that I got for Harriet. Same design. A good distance of Canab, you know, simple distance. And we have how many miles to each spot. Oh, okay. So... So canyoneering's in the area then, because there's no mileage yes. on it? Yes. Okay. While I'm here, about 20 minutes from, um, oh, there's mountain biking. Oh, they're bike packing. That's, that's even bolder. There is nothing out here, people. Oh my God, I can never do that. So much sun. Anyway, this is a Grand Staircase Escalante Visitor Center, which the entire area that I just drove through, which I can never get enough of, is Grand Staircase Escalante. So I'm gonna go in here and see if I have, um, the, see if I can get a BLM map. Oh, dodgy road. See if I can get a BLM map to see where I can um, boondock around uh, Canab and Page, even though I have my place in Page, and then see what other information. They also have a dinosaur exhibit and Nomad Yurts. That'll be the name of my band, Nomad Yurts. Okay, sorry, my um, um, beads that I did not show my boobs for. Just to be clear, these beads were acquired because I picked them up in the gutter, not because I flashed my tits. Oh, it's closed. Well, that sucks. Visitor center is closed. Well, what do you know? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, never mind. Okay, sorry, my little holder thing, this holder right here, which was the first thing I ever got for the van. Can I have a blue sky? Thank you. Um, which I've had in the van for three years. It's like not sticking, so my phone keeps falling. So before I start driving, I'm just gonna tell you, I spoke to that couple back there. They're doing a 160 mile loop and they're camping as well around the whole Grand Escalante um, staircase, which gives you an idea of how big this thing is. It's 160 miles around, which isn't even everything. Um, so now I'm 20 minutes away from uh, Page, which is great. Beautiful drive, beautiful day, very hot and sunny. It's only 66 degrees, but the sun is beaten down. I'm at about 6,000 feet. Um, no snow anymore. Even just in the last like week I've been here, there's no, no more snow. It is freaking gorgeous. And I am a city girl and I do like the city, but I, I love just the van life. I love driving through this. I can never get enough of this. So when I get to Page, I'm going to see if there's a BLM office there. This one is closed. They, sorry, they said there was like six people 
who came in and then the car that I was behind also came in and turned around and they were like, yeah, um, you know, you're about the sixth or seventh person that's come in to ask, you know, if it's open and it's not. And it's only 3.30 on a Monday. It's Monday morning, people. Maybe it's closed on a Monday. Most museums are closed on Mondays. Most bicycle shops are closed. You know, maybe it's open on the weekends or maybe it's not open at all. So really nice building though, really like Adobe style, fancy building. So now I'm gonna go into Page. And uh, yeah, I can just look online, you know, to see where, um, you know, the boondocking is. But I think around Kanab, it should be pretty easy. I do have a school friend that lives there. Um, so, um, but it has an Airbnb, really, really cool Airbnb. So, um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I don't have any connections in Page, but I do have my, you know, fancy place, which is actually, you're in Arizona for Page, but then you just go 10 minutes down the road into Utah and then you just go off a road and it's just right there. And it's just a little area that can fit maybe five or six vehicles. And last time I was the only one. And then there was an SUV that was car camping that showed up the next morning and they look a cute, like a uh, hippie couple. I was like, you guys want some coffee? They're like, yeah, I'm like, I don't have any coffee, but I have a thing to make coffee. So they had coffee and then I made them, I boiled the water for them. So I did my civic duty. Okay, arm is hurting now. I gotta get some Gorilla Glue. So I gotta do some housekeeping. I need to get groceries. I gotta stock up for the next week and a half. And yeah, there we go. Okay, let's go. Okay, get ready for it. This is the fifth time this morning or today that I have gone to Arizona. <laughs> Hello, Arizona, again. Good to see you again. Okay. So Page is where you have Horseshoe Bend and you have um, Antelope Canyon. And uh, there's also Goose Necks, um, which is on the way to Monument Valley. So there's so much to do in this area. Then there's Lake Powell, which I just went past. Um, so you can do a ton of like water sports and things and there's a viewpoint as well but i've seen lake powell from an airplane uh, i've also seen lake mead from an airplane like 100 times now or something whatever i 60 times i've flown to and from vegas so i'm going to stop off at glen canyon dam i've never been i've been to hoover dam before um, which you can see on that video where basically i got searched like crazy um so yeah the blm is not too far from over here so i'm coming in from the opposite end than i did before um that's weird, there's like a check station. Oh, I don't wanna go that way. Um, Glen Canyon Marina, I don't wanna go to the marina. There's a lot of like checkpoints and things. So they make sure you don't like blow up the thing. But yeah, I'm gonna go up here. I should be able to get to the dam up here. Glen Canyon Dam, Welcome Center, a half a mile. Yeah, so I, I've driven through here, but from the other direction. Um, I, and I was, again, I'm like, why does this all look familiar? But I was just here less than a year ago when I did what I did when I visited Antelope Canyon and Horseshoe Bend. Um, so I highly recommend. I did both in the, I did the Horseshoe Bend in the morning. I was the only one there until this like bus load of tour group came. And then the other one was um, uh, the uh, Antelope Canyon. I did the 9 a.m. tour. So I was pretty much done with the area by uh, before noon. And then I was able to drive on to the next place. I guess the El Monte RV has a monopoly on RVs in this area. Okay, and then people probably just pick them up and they're like, damn, we need food. <laughs> so I'm at Safeway, um, which I think is Vons. I don't know, there's like Albertsons and Vons, I think are the same. Pavilions and Safeway, I think are the same. Um, City Market, Smith's, Ralph's and Kroger are all the same. And that's the one that I have my, my thing for. And then there's a little frozen yogurt place next door, but it's not open till tomorrow. Um, okay, so I'm gonna get groceries. There's also Starbucks in here, but because there's nowhere for me to sit and use the, um, you know, use the Wi-Fi and talk to Harriet, so I reserved a booth, a private soundproof pod at um, 5 p.m. at the library that's four minutes away. So yay, thank you Paige for Civilization. Well worth the extra hour drive. Like I said, I'm either an hour from the wave in Kanab where there's hardly anything there. Like it's not a very built up town or I could be in Civilization for the night and get groceries and all this stuff um, and still be an hour from the wave. So then I'm gonna backtrack and go to Toadstool's. Um, where else am I going? Um, I don't think I'll go to Grand Escalante because I already went through there. Um, but to go to Spooky Canyon, it's like five hour drive down the dirt road. So after tomorrow's wave, I think there's a few other places I can go on the way back to Kanab. And then I just need to find some place, you know, to boondock. But yeah, I'll be in Kanab for a few days and I would like to do an actual activity um, no boating, but I would like to do some sort of like, I don't know, <laughs> rappelling or canyoneering. But to be on my own, it's like $300, isn't it? To be on my own, it's $300 for one person. And I don't have any friends here. <laughs> so I have no one to do this with. 
Um, so I don't know, I've got to find some sort of um, group activity I can join or something that I can do, you know, not spend 300 and something odd dollars. So, okay, we're in, uh, we're in Safeway. So let's get a bunch of groceries for the next six, seven days. I'm severely dehydrated. I only had a couple bottles of water to drink. So I need Gatorade, orange juice. Um, I have been here before. Oh my God, this is like, I was just here last year. I might get some ice cream, a uh, pint of ice cream to eat for dinner. And that's it. So yeah, and then I'll go to the library and then I'll be done at six at the library and then I'll head over to BLM. So let me go down here. I don't drink, so I don't need alcohol, obviously, because I'm driving and I just don't drink. And uh, soda. I don't really drink soda, but I do like ginger ale um, because I have IBS, so it's actually good for my belly sometimes to have a little bit of carbonation. Uh, frappuccinos. I don't drink any of these diet drinks because they have all the fake sugar in it. But I do like a frappuccino every now and again. So I think, yeah, I think this is Kroger. I don't know. This is double shot, save two dollars with a digital coupon. Safeway. I think I have, I think I have a discount code for it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get a mocha and a vanilla. That will save me for. I can get two of these for the price of one um, frappuccino. So okay, so that'll be good in the morning just to kind of wake me up. And I think I will not get a soda. Should I get a soda? Three for five. Oh, you know what? Randall's. I think Randall's is also Safeway. Where's the ginger ale? Where are you at, ginger ale? Um, these are Pepsi products. Dr. Pepper. You can go to the Dr. Pepper Museum. I did a um, video on it. The Dr. Pepper Museum in Waco, Texas. And I only ever knew Waco because of the Branch Davidian, like the cult, you know? And you can actually go visit that too. It's kind of funny. Um, okay, I don't need soda. I'm not going to waste money. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so I'll get a ginger ale. It's always a good thing to have in the van. And then I have to park, uh, plug in my little fridge. So I need some, uh, I have yogurts, but I think I need more yogurts. So let me, let me go around here. Okay, captivating content, me shopping. <laughs> anyway, let me, this is as far as I got so far. Let me go get orange juice and bananas and maybe a fruit salad as well. I don't want to eat too much because I'll be on the wave and there won't be anywhere to go pee. <laughs> so I don't want to be that person that's like not enjoying it because I have to use a restroom the whole time that I'm hiking. I am making progress. I've got two different kinds of salad kits, which are great. One's French blue cheese, even though I don't like dressing, and the other one's pear gorgonzola, even though I don't like dressing, but I'll put a smidgen of it. I'm trying to trying to increase my dressing like like radius, I guess. I don't know. I really don't like it. It tastes like soap. But anyway, I just prefer like you know, like um oil and vinegar or like lemon. Um okay, I don't need any more water right now. I think I'm fine. I probably should get another water. And I need orange juice. I asked the guy where the orange juice was. He goes, oh, it's over by dairy. I'm like, oh, where's dairy? <laughs> like, don't use words like east, you know, telling me directions and it's all good. Okay, groceries is a little bit more expensive here. Four seventy nine. dollars I need one that will fit. I need small ones, right? So I'm gonna use that little crap. I've got to use the little, um, the little cooler. So, all right, I'll just get a couple of these uh, natural orange juices. That should be fine. This is the Coconino Public Page Public Library next to the Coconino Community College. There's a little kids camp. There's Prue in the sun. And okay, so I'll be here for two hours. It closed at six and I'll call Harriet at five, which will be seven uh, Houston time. And then I'll be able to upload my next video. So at least do that. So yeah, this is great. Really, really cool. Much more convenient than Starbucks. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Starbucks is fine, you know, like to sit in, you know, cause it's open late, but I'd rather, <laughs> I'd rather uh, go to the library. The much better Wi-Fi. So, all right, let's go in and check this place out. And I've got the pod at that five again. Oh, this is really nice. This is great. Vending machines, bathrooms. Oh, restrooms over here. Oh, that's so funny, Starbucks. <laughs> it's great. Okay, so this is the pod. That's pretty cool. So I'll be in here at, oh, this is really cool. I'll be in here at five and it's very warm, but there's a fan. Okay, that's not too bad. So I'll, I'll go in there at five. And then they have tables here, tables here, and then down on the bottom. So I'll sit down there. There's also, this is great. There's a view down here. Um, and up here, maybe not where the sun is at, because the sun is pretty intense. 
So maybe I can sit up here if there's a plug. It's the only deciding factor is if there's a plug. Okay, I think I can just sit over here. All right, walking into the library, I've been given a challenge. I've got to hop. I'm not gonna do it because I'm carrying all my stuff, but I've got to hop and then spin five times and then right hop, two steps, left hop, two steps. How does that song go? <laughs> Everybody clap your hands. Okay, balance. I don't know how you're supposed to balance on this line. Jump. So we're gonna to jump to here and jump to the left and then a step to the right. <laughs> Follow the line. Okay. And then we have find your letter in your name. All the letters are just one. Here we go, J for Jenny. And that's it. Yay, finish line. <laughs> that was fun. More sidewalks need to have all this crap. Cause that was really fun. Okay, and then the kids have also drawn. Oh no, more challenges. Oh, this one. You gotta do hopscotch. I don't know how to do hopscotch, but either way, whatever you do to get to the end, you get a yay. And another one, <laughs> it's never ending. I'm like, I just wanna get to the door. Okay, all right, well, I passed the test. So, okay, back to the van and back to BLM. And that's great. So last night in Page and then heading toward Kanab for about two days and then St. George for two days and then out to Vegas for two days. So. Yeah, easy, uh, easy, just less than two weeks. And then I fly home next week. So back to my usual, like two weeks on, five days off kind of thing.